In the previous installment in this series, I reviewed how to work with the various CSS style sheets associated with a fluid grid layout. The absolute key here is to keep the concept of mobile first solidly implanted in your mind. As you discovered, if you want to add a style or make a change to a style to the project, you work in the mobile layout. In this installment, we're going to finish up by turning our attention to working with the images in the project. Again, this process involves a lot more than simply slapping images into a fluid grid layout and heaving in a few CSS rules. Images are also controlled by a couple of CSS rules, one of which is not immediately evident, and being aware of them will preserve your sanity. As you can see, I've added some images to this layout. And, well, it's a bit of a mess in all three layouts, over here in the tablet layout and even over here in the desktop layout. Yet if I swing over to the 320 by 480 view for mobile, things are marginally better, but not great. Okay, I'm gonna go back to where we started. But before I deal with the issues that are evident, let's take a moment and re review what we are dealing with. If I select the first image, you will see there are no width and height properties for the selection in Dreamweaver's Properties Inspector. If you look at the HTML over here in Code View, you can see there are no width or height values either. Now you can add these ones in, but that kind of defeats the purpose of responsive web design. And the explanation for this can be found in the Fluid CSS file. So if I open up the Fluid CSS file, you can see that there is actually a note that says fluid media requires that you remove the media's height and width attributes from the HTML. And that is in the a list apart article shown underneath the comment. The other thing is, you'll notice that the first rule, max width, sets the max width property of an image to 100%. This ensures the size of any image placed in the document does not exceed the size of the element in which it is placed. So as you can see in the mobile layout, there is a bit of an issue, which also ripples through the mobile and desktop lay layouts. The image is tucked up against the left e edge of the div. And let's get over to design view. You can see it's tucked up against the left edge of the div, but the text seems to wrap around it. Now you can paw through the fluid CSS file to isolate the culprit, but won't do you any good. The culprit lies in the boilerplate CSS file. So if I open up boilerplate CSS and scroll down to around a line 127, you can see that the vertical alignment has been set to middle. Now the MS interpolation mode by Cubic is how images are resized primarily in Internet Explorer 7. Now you may want to think about changing this from middle to something else. And my advice to you right now is step away from the mouse and the keyboard because this is not the place to make the change. As I pointed out in previous videos, boilerplate CSS is a very dangerous place. Instead, what I've decided to do is to have the image centered in the mobile layout because we have the space, the image is going to be floated with the text flowing around it. Now the quickest way to make those changes is to make the changes to this fluid CSS style sheet. What I'm going to do is move into the realm of heresy and actually use Dreamweaver's new CSS rule dialog box. So far we've manually entered the rules into the fluid.css style sheet, but there are some of you who may be wondering how to use this feature of Dreamweaver. It is dead simple to add a style using this dialog box, but if you don't know where the code goes in a fluid grid CSS style sheet, you've just walked into a world of grief. So the first step here is to click the new style dialog box. I'm going to make it a compound style and I'm going to add two rules. Float left and float right. And I should spell float right correctly. And I'm going to apply it to fluid CSS. Click OK. And the first thing we're going to do is to set the display property to, bo to box. So we're going to go to the block and under display, 
set it to block. And then we're going to head over to the box properties and work with the margins. And we're going to set the top and bottom margins to 15 pixels. And I'm going to choose auto for the right and the left margins. And what this will do is center the image. So I click OK to accept the change. And if I open up the fluid CSS list, there it is at the bottom. This is where your world of grief opens. If you open the fluid CSS style sheet and go down the bottom, there it is. Everything you want is there. And this is not a good thing because it is not a part of the media queries for the tablet and desktop layouts and will have absolutely zero effect on the mobile layout. What you do is you select it, cut it out of the bottom here, come back up to the mobile area and add it to the bottom of the stack. Click Refresh and if we come back to Design View, select the image and apply the Float Right class to it, you can see we have now dealt with the centering of the images in the document. So let's uh, just apply the class all the way across the board. There we go. And we'll apply it there. And if we go over to the tablet layout, looks pretty good. And if we go over to the desktop layout, well, we got a little extra space here, so let's deal with it. If we keep in mind how changes work in a fluid grid layout, changing the float left property in the tablet layout will ripple down to the desktop. And what it will do is force the text up around the image. Well, it looks kind of good in the, desk, in the uh, tablet layout. I'm really happy with it, so really I only want to make the change in the desktop layout. To do that, I'm going to create a brand new CSS rule. And this time I'm just going to make it a class. And the selector is going to be float left. Notice it's being applied to Fluid CSS. Click OK. And this time I'm just going to go to the box area and I'm going to set the float to left. And the margins are going to be 5 pixels for the top and the bottom. On the right, it's going to be 10 pixels. And on the left, it's going to be 0. Click OK. And if we go back to Fluid CSS, you'll see that that changes there. And another world of grief opens up on you. You think you, all you got to do is just toss it in to, into the desktop area here. Not quite. You see these two little brackets? This bracket here, the top one, closes off the footer, and this one here at the bottom closes off the media query. So what you've got to do is select the class, select your change, cut it out of there, and drop it in between those two brackets. Refresh your CSS. And let's go back to Design View and apply the, our new class. So if we come here and float left, we've got that happening, and we're going to float this one to the left, and we've got everything sort of looking the way it's supposed to look. Now if we save the project, File, Save All, because it's affected the uh, Fluid CSS style sheet, we can actually now preview this in a browser. Let's take a look at it in Firefox. And you can see, there it is there. So our changes have been applied. And if we move it across, you notice how the images become responsive as the window or the viewport is resized. OK, I'm going to close Firefox. So the bottom line with imaging in a fluid grid layout is you're going to have to do some CSS wrangling. 
Because the CSS controlling the images is found in two places, boilerplate CSS and fluid CSS, the boilerplate sets the vertical align property and the fluid CSS sets how the images work in a responsive web design situation. This means you stay out of the boilerplate and you're going to have to work with the fluid CSS. By understanding how mobile first works, images can be centered in the pages by creating a group selector in the mobile section by setting the display property to block and adding margins to the sides. If you are going to use the new CSS rule feature of Dreamweaver, you also need to be cautious because you can walk into a world of grief if you don't understand mobile first and how the fluid CSS style sheet is set up. If you need the text to run around the images in the tablet and desktop layouts, you make that change in either the tablet or desktop areas of the CSS. In the case of this project, we simply change the float left property for the desktop fluid grid layout.